my name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to make a marble texture in Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is I've actually opened Photoshop first um, because this can just it's a little bit simpler of a method, and you can still make it in Illustrator. It's just that you're going to have to start off in Photoshop. Um, <clears throat> so in Photoshop, you open up a new document, you go to Filter. Then you go to Render, and you go to Clouds. And this is going to give you a cloud pattern. And then you go to Render again. And this is all based on your personal preference for what you want your marble texture to look like. So if you want it darker, you can do Filter. And then you go to um, Render, and then Difference Clouds, which will just completely um, reverse the colors. So I'm going to keep mine like that, because it looks a little bit better. And then you go to Image, and you go to Adjustments, Levels. And here you can really mess around with how this looks. So I'm going to mess around with the darkness. And this is where you can really get either like the really crisp or really not so crisp, marbly kind of texture. So if you can see, that's uh, already getting pretty marbly. And I'm actually not liking how this is turning out, so I'm going to do difference clouds. I'm going to go back to image adjustments levels. And here, this is where you can get, yeah, there you go. There's some marble. And there, you already have like the lightened, kind of crispy effect that you can notice with. OK, so this, this, that's the basic way to make it in Photoshop. So then you, you can push Command-A, which is going to select all of your image. Command-C will copy it. And then if you go into Illustrator, suppose you want your marble to look kind of orangey. And you can do that in Photoshop, but if you're going to add more elements of Illustrator in this image, then you're going to want to do it in Illustrator, um, which is what I'm going to do. And so you can add a new layer. And you could put it below or above. It really depends on your preference. And just draw a square that's or a rectangle the same size as the one that you have, and just fill it with the color you're looking for. We'll add that. And then you're going to go up to your first layer. You're going to go to the transparency button. You go to multiply. Oops, and see actually what I've done is multiplied the wrong layer. So make sure your the right layer is selected. All right, well. And there you have your colored marble. My name is Alex Cecilio. Thank you for watching.